What's up, YouTube? For today's video, we're the full pseudo psychic type Pokemon team. This team is all based around Pokemon that could possibly be a psychic type. If you do think there's a Pokemon I could have included or you agree with me, let me know in the comment section of the video. And of course, I'm trying to go for individual typings for each Pokemon. If you do want to check me out on Twitch, people, make sure you do. This is where I do all my live streams for Pokemon Sweep Steam Teams and all other forms of salty entertainment. Man, this is a long video, but for very, very good reason, and exactly like something else. Copmeister is my first opponent here, and we had a very, very lengthy battle. Trust me, people. Now, the first Pokemon we got here is Ninetales. Now, that's quite funny, because I've got Ninetales as a Psychic and Fire-type Pokemon. Obviously, due to its background, and it also gets a lot of Psychic-type moves as well. Let's go over what this set is. I ran this as a physical one. We've got Zen Headbutt as a psychic type move, and we've also got Power Swap too. Now, the whole idea around this set was to give the opponent some stat boost. In this case, we're going to be giving the opposing Nine Towers Swagger, so we can give it plus two on attack. Of course, I missed Swagger the first turn. Never ever seen that one before, right? Now, we've got the opposing Nine Towers setting up the uh, Veil here. It's going to make the uh, rest of the Pokemon very, very bulky for a while, right? So, it's going to have Sheer Cold. I thought it might be a Sheer Troll set, but thank goodness it is going to miss. So, getting up that uh, Swagger on the opposing Nine Towers there and giving it a plus two on attack. Now, what I'm going to do, right, is go for Power Swap. What does Power Swap do? Power Swap obviously swaps the powers, and you obviously get the attack boost and special attack boost of the opponent, right? In this case, I deliberately gave it plus two on attack. After using Power Swap, I will have that plus two attack on my Nine Tiles, right? Now, Nine Tiles' attack stat isn't the greatest in the world, so even with a plus two on attack, there's no guarantee you can obviously take stuff out, right? So the other move I had in there was Flare Blitz as well. The item I had in this was Citrus Berry, and the EV spread was Max Speed and Max Stack Jolly Nature. Now, the Nine Tiles is going to go down in one shot under the Veil. That felt pretty good. Bye-bye, Nine Tiles. Uh, however, that's probably the only Pokemon I'm going to be able to one shot, I reckon. So we're going to eat that Citrus Berry there, giving ourselves a little bit over half health, and I'm going to get pummeled by the Hail there. That's all good, though. I got to get this uh, Nine Tiles at least one KO to start with, right? Next Pokemon is the Flygon. So I was like, okay... Let's go for Zen Headbutt, right? I outspeed, which is very good here. And it doesn't do a lot of damage due to the Veil being upright. Now the Drapion, not the Drapion, the Flygon, I don't know how I call it, a Drapion for, is going to use uh, Focus Energy. You can race me for that one, right? I mean, get, wait, wait. This is why I called it Drapion, right? This is my thought process right now. They both could be pseudo bug type Pokemon, right? And I did a pseudo bug type Pokemon, and that's why I called it Drapion, all right? Can you get on that level of thinking? Anyway, so we got a Scale Shot Flygon here. It's going to be critting me all over the place with Scale Shot. Now, the first turn, first couple of turns, it didn't outspeed me, but since it uses Scale Shot, it's going to be able to outspeed me this turn and hit me with a barrage of those. So I'm thinking this either has Scope Lens and Focus Energy, or it's got something scummy like King's Rock, right, on the Scale Shot. Now, the next Pokemon I'm going to be swapping into this is my Porygon, right? I thought this would work as a Psychic and Normal type Pokemon, right? So, it's sort of like, I guess you could say it's a, it's a computer almost Porygon, so it could definitely work a Psychic type. Plus, it gets a lot of Psychic type moves, right? So, I'm going to be running a Trick Room Zen Headbutt Recover and Last Resort set there. I tank that Super Power Crit, which is crazy bulk there on my Porygon. Now, this is Max Health and Max Stack with the Everlight as the item, and I've got Download, and then hopefully I can get an attack boost upon swapping it in, right? So I thought, let's see if they actually are going to be 100% critting me, right? Maybe they won't crit me with Superpower, and they've already got an attack drop, so I might be able to get my last resort happening a little bit sooner, right? Uh, here comes a second Superpower, and indeed, this is going to crit me. It was a very, very risky play that I probably could have easily taken out the Flygon with Zen Headbutt, but... I wanted to see if I get my last resort off earlier. With last resort, you got to use all of your moves when the Pokemon is in. So if you swap it out, you got to use them all again before using last resort. So now we're going to go into Golduck here. Now I always thought Golduck and Psyduck in that case were always psychic and water type, right? 
because in the even in the anime, right, you see, uh, you know, Psyduck holding its head, like Psy guy guy, and getting all confused and stuff, and it uses like its super like psychic powers and you know just wrecks people. But I always thought it was a psychic Pokemon, uh, Psyduck and Golda, right? So Flygon is going to get finished off, and Politoed is going to hop into this battle matchup, and it's going to put me to sleep with a psychic. Now this Golduck set is all about infatuating the opponent, trapping them in with Whirlpool as well, and using Psy Beam right to try and get that confusion. Now, it's only a 20% chance, but, you know, 20% chance is better than zero, right? So I'm going to be swapping out here. There's not a lot I can really do to the uh, Politoed there. It's got uh, Water Absorb, I'd say, as its ability. Um, I don't think it'd probably have damage. So I've got my uh, Lakara as a Psychic and Fighting-type Pokemon. It never really made too much sense to me while as a Steel-type. Like, it's got Aura Sphere, which sounds like a Psychic move in my opinion and uh yeah it's got quite a few psychic type moves as well and just because it's got steel little spikes on its fingers or its hands doesn't make it a steel type right um of course you can disagree with this this is totally my opinion as well before someone furiously gets on the keyboard and starts typing anyway lakari gets absolutely shrecked there by a freaking belly drum polytide i went for roleplay to try and get water absorbed there and unfortunately i i, I just thought at plus six they would go for a stab move, but unfortunately it was a super effective Earthquake. It might have worked. Um, I thought it was a pretty good chance to work. It was just sort of unlucky. It would have been super funny. Anyway, I've got to go for gold here. I've got to go for the Dynamax Blasphion here. Now, this set is all based around uh, having Psychic-type moves like Psychic, and also Mind Blown too, which I feel could definitely be a Psychic-type move as well, uh, but of course it's a Fire-type. Now, this is a Rest uh, Chester Berry set, so I can use uh, Mind Blown over and over. And I've got Hypnosis on here too, so really trying to put on those psychic type moves. So go for the uh, Dynamax Blastion and Max Minosom. I really had to get rid of Politoed. It was way too threatening with plus six attack there, right? Now, Politoed apparently was actually a blunder policy Hypnosis set, so I could have got destroyed then if I got a plus two in speed. Uh, so we got another Pokemon here. Amazing about that. We got Colossal. Now, Colossal. I believe I'll be able to take this out in one to two hits, right? Plus, I've got Psychic Terrain on the field, too. Now, Colossal managed to actually tank that, which is pretty impressive. And now it's going to go for Tar Shot. Now, Tar Shot is going to drop my speed, and it's going to make my uh, uh, Blastion weak to fire. Wait, I'm not a fire type. I'm not a fire type. I'm just Psychic. So, taking out the Colossal there uh, with another Max Mindstorm. Bye-bye, Colossal. And that is the end of my Dynamax, but I did pick up a couple of Beast Boosts there in my Special Attack, so I'm in a very, very strong position at the moment. Now, the next Pokemon to come in is Golurk, right? So, though, okay, both of my moves are going to hit really, really hard here. I've got Psychic with the Psychic Terrain, and I've got Mind Blown too, and I've got Full Health, so I can easily go for a Mind Blown here and, you know, live to tell the tale, right? I, actually, I can fire two more off, and there's only two more Pokemon remaining, right? So, this is all good. So, we got the uh, Dynamax Golurk here. I still think that I'll be able to take this out in one shot because, you know, Blastion's got very, very good special attack. And this is crazy right now. So I can go for a Mind Blown here. It's going to take away half my health. And it lived on one health. I've got to say I was one health there. Merch plug. And uh, it's going to take me out with a Max Quake. I don't know whether that was a bulky set like Max Health or like a Salt Vest or something like that. But boy... That was a very, very lucky live there. And, of course, we all know that crit mattered on Blastion. So, very, very nice live there. I mean, there's two really good lives that I've in this battle so far. Porygon on that superpower earlier on and the Golurk. Especially that Golurk live. So, bringing in the gold out now, obviously, I'm asleep at the moment. But my last Pokemon, right, it can't do that much to Golurk initially. You'll be able to find out why, right? Actually, you know what my last Pokemon is. It's knocked out, right? Because I'm pretty sure I put that in the thumbnail. But this Noctowl set is the reason why this battle is so long. Like, this whole video is so long. But um, I'm not going to I'm not gonna say anything just yet. Anyway, so taking Gold out with a side beam. Only on people watch channel. And Gold Oak is going to faint there. Man, that was a very, very good live. Now, the last Pokemon we got here is uh, Trevenant. Now, this Trevenant... Oh, this Trevenant. So, first thing what I want to do right is I want to go for side beam. Uh, Whirlpool's not going to do much. And it's possibly got a grass-type move, right? Hidden in those leaves. So Trevenant is going to be eating a Lumberry there, getting rid of the confusion I gave it. I was like, okay, that sort of sucks. And now it's going to be uh, planting its roots there. Actually, that looked really, really good on Trevenant. I feel like I feel like Ingrain should be like almost a signature move on Trevenant. Like, it looked exactly like the bottom of the roots on the tree right there. Uh, so go for another side beam here. Maybe I can get a lucky confusion on the second one. It's a very low chance. And it didn't happen, and I'm going to go down to Giga Drain. But that's okay. I've got one more Pokemon left. 
But then I was starting to think, right, what the uh, Trevenant moveset could possibly be. So we've already seen Lumbery, and we've already seen, like, it harvesting the Lumbery, right? Right there. So I'm like, uh-oh, this is really, really bad. Let me show you why it's so bad, right? So the last Pokemon is Noctowl. I always thought Noctowl was a Psychic and Flying-type Pokemon when I first seen it, like, an Ape Hypnosis, a lot of Psychic-type moves. This is a Rest, Sleep, Talk, Dream Meter Psycho Shift set. Let me run you over this one, right? So what you do, right, is you want to make sure you go to sleep first, right? Obviously, I outsped the Trevenant, so I'm not going to be able to go to sleep. Now, this purely relies on you going to sleep, right? So you have to go to sleep. Now, Psycho Shift is a very, very cool move, right? Um, I, I first remember doing uh, Psycho Shift in 4th uh, Gen with my Cresselia. It's a very interesting move. If you don't know what Psycho Shift is, pretty much what it does, right? So stay if I get status. In this case, I am going to put myself to sleep deliberately, right? If I use Psycho Shift while I'm asleep, I will shift the sleep status onto the other Pokemon, and then I'll wake up myself, and that'll allow me to use Dream Eater, which will be super cool, right? And also put the opponent to sleep at the same time. Now, of course, I've got Sleep Talk on this one, and I've got to land it on Psycho Shift, right? And I'm going to land the Psycho Shift, but the problem is here, you can probably see what's going to happen. I am hard countered here because Trevenant has got the Lumberry, right? So Lumberry will instantly wake it up. And it's got Harvest to keep harvesting that Lumberry over and over and over again. Now, this matchup here went for at least five minutes straight. And a bust is spamming, eh? Really, really fast. And there's no way Knockdown can actually defeat Trevenant unless I was able to get. Uh, Harvest Knock to activate for a while and hit it with a Dream Eater. But still, Dream Eater, I feel, would have been, depending on the EVs, probably a 2 to 3 hit KO. So I had to cut out a little section in the battle there. Basically, what happened, I went to sleep. Uh, it attacked me. I went to sleep. It attacked me. It just went on for ages and ages right that. In the end, we got down to the last 20 minutes of the battle, and uh, that was it, people. I was completely walled by the Trevenant. Not that Trevenant could really do much to me either. Like, it would have gone down to a PP store wall, which might have been interesting, but with the 20-minute timer, we were never going to see what the, like, the last result is there. In fact, I think I may have been out of stall if I just went for rest, but a very, very cool battle there. Thank you for the battle cop, my set. Unfortunately, Knocked out, could not get its Psycho Shift set to work there. It got completely and utterly countered. All right, let's get on to Battle 2 here. Now, this was a battle... Uh, this one, my Discord, this was against uh, Mamoswad. And this was a crazy battle too. Now, once again, if I haven't said it already, this is uh, three battles today. And all of these battles were like 20 minutes. They were all tw at the 20-minute mark. It was crazy. So, the first Pokemon got his Malum. I'm like, hmm... Let's use Swagger, and hopefully it's got Contrary, right? But uh, it'll sort of mess my setup, but it'll actually sort of mess up the Malamar too. Now, unfortunately, Malamar is going to go for a Switcheroo and give me a Choice Scarf. So I'm like, man, I, I, I mean, I've got to swap out here, right? At least I dropped the Malamar's attack with Swagger. Obviously, it shifted those uh, stats around there. Instead of increasing it, it decreased it. So now I'm going to do a double swap into Golduck here, right? I might be able to get this... Uh, Whirlpool, uh, you know, Psychic set going, not Psychic, Psybeam set. So this is also going to have Swagger too. I'm like, ah, oh, we both had Swagger lead. Now this is going to confuse my goal. Now, probably not the greatest matchup in the world here. So I thought maybe they'll try and switch a room me again. I might be able to get my original item back. If I don't, it's fine. Let's give it a go, right? So we got the Malamite getting through the confusion and of course... It's going to be switcherooing the item right back to yours truly. So that's very, very good there. I got my Citrus Barrel left. Now what I think I can do, I, I can actually attack them with the Flare Bits. However, this is going to have Hypnosis as the Troll set. So Ninetales is going to be closing its little peepers there. So I'm like, okay, well, I've got to swap out Ninetales again, right? And do so much. So we got the Malamar swapping out now. And I decide to swap this set as well. So a lot of swapping is going on right now. And we got the uh, the female Jellicent coming in. And so bye-bye, Ninetales. And I'm going to go into Blasphemy on here. So probably not the best matchup in the world. But uh, I still had a go at this, right? So let's go for my own Hypnosis. And of course, Hypnosis is going to miss, right? Now we got the uh, Gelatin trapping me in with the Whirlpool here. So I can't swap out my Blasphemy So I either let the Blasphemy die or I try and get around this. So I've got 
I've got like Psychic as my only real move that can do anything, or if I go for Hypnosis and land it, I might be able to get some damage on this thing, right? So putting the uh, Jealous in sleep with Hypnosis, which is good, and it's going to be staying asleep. Now I thought, okay, I can go for rest here and I can wake up, but I see, I want to see if I can get some sort of damage off his Psychic first, and uh, Psychic does some pretty good damage here. I'm quite happy with that, right? Uh, Jellicent is going to remain asleep. Now, if it does wake up this turn, I'm definitely going to go down to Whirlpool. I mean, I don't have a lot of health left anyway. I, I reckon, I estimate like two to three turns uh, left on Blasphemy with the Whirlpool damage, right? So I'm going to be uh, going to sleep there, and Chester Burr is going to wake me up right away. So that's good. Uh, I can go for another Psychic and try and drop the Special Fence. And then just keep spamming, right? Now, Poltergeist actually failed then because I used up my Chester Breath. That was so lucky right there. Amazing. And uh, now I'm going to go for another Psychic on the Jalicent. And that does some good damage. And I get an additional special defense drop. Things are starting to go my way until I got Curse Body. Oh, I think the next Psychic would have almost taken it out from there. And then it's going to eat uh, Citrus Berry as well. So that's a shame. And now it's going to go for a Whirlpool, and Blastion is once again heavily countered. Do I go for the Hypnosis, or do I go for the Mind Bloom? I mean, it does have a negative one in special uh, defense, and, you know, it is Blastion. It's got a lot of uh, special attack, right? So throwing my head at the Jellison, I thought I might as well go for it. It almost takes out. It was a pretty good effort right there. I was countered from the word go with that Jellison, so I think it was a pretty good effort. Uh, against that, right? So, uh, Whirlpool's obviously not going to do anything. And uh, now we're going to go into a Psychic and Finding type, which is my Lakaro. So, I can go for a Psychic here. And remember, it does have a negative one in Special Defense, too. And of course, Curse Body strikes again. And now I can't use Psychic. I'm like, man. Now, the funny thing about this ride is the next Pokemon is the Grapplot. It's called uh, Uwu. So I can go for a, I'd love to go for a Psychic, right? But I can't, right? So I've got to go for a round and I've got to go uh, activate that Throat Spray, right? Then what I can do is freely go for Aura Sphere, right? Not that Aura Sphere will probably do a lot of damage. Now it's going to obviously go for the Octolock here, and that's going to drop my defense and special defense by one stage every single turn, right? Now usually with Octolock, um, a very good move to use with it is Protect as well, because you can go Octolock, it's going to drop the stats, and then you go go Protect, right? So essentially your opponent has, you know, negative two in defense and special defense, right? And if you hit them with any some sort of attack, even if you're not that offensive, it will do a fair bit of damage, right? Even like neutral hits. Uh, so this is a, seems to be a definite bulky set. I'm thinking maybe it's got Drain Punch here that works very, very well for Octolock and Protect. Uh, sorry, a Grap Lock, uh, Octolock and Protect. And uh, it's probably going to destroy me. So going for the Aura Spell does pretty good damage. I'm happy about that. Uh, it's going to go for a Power Up Punch instead. And that is going to boost its attack by one stay. So... I need to take this thing out before it does. And may maybe it's got Drain Punch as well. I'm not really sure, right? Now, I was thinking about the Pokemon on my team, right? I could bring in my Night Tiles here and try and take it out with a Flare Bits. But the problem is I'm asleep. So I'm going to do an unexpected play, I thought. Let's go for Dynamax Night Tiles. I'll be able to live a Power Up Punch if I don't wake up. And then I should be able to take this out almost with... A max flare, right? Also, I won't take any recoil damage if I use it in Dynamax as well. So, uh, here we go. And also, I can actually put a max Mindstorm on the field too with the super effective Zen Headbutt, which is definitely what I was thinking, right? I wasn't sure if I was going to be able to take it out in the first one, though. So, Power Up Punch does a fair bit of damage to me, right? Uh, if I wasn't in Dynamax, that you know that nearly would have done... Uh, that would probably would have done like three quarters damage to me, right? So, Grab Lot's going to get a little bit of health back from the leftovers. I finally wake up, which is very good. And now I can go for the Max Mind Storm on Grab Lot, right? Does a lot of damage, but it fails to take it out, which was a shame. Uh, now, the Grab Lot, right, is going to be going for a Octo Lock here. Obviously hoping that I was going to be asleep for another turn. I mean, it, let's be real. It was a high chance of that happening, right? So I can easily take out the grab lot the next turn. In fact, I can go for a max flare here, right? That'll benefit my nine tiles very nicely because there's a psychic train in the field which will help boost my zen headbutt. And also the max flare will put the sun on the field which will boost up my flare bits too. So, you know, I'm getting the best of both worlds there on my, uh, my stab moves, people. My stab psychic. So down goes the grab lot there. We got this Malamar coming back in. I was like, okay, that's cool. I can go for a Flare Blitz here. And I should be able to easily take it out, right? And I won't probably go down to Recoil here, hopefully. Now the Malamar is going to go for a switcheroo here. It's like, okay, that's fine. It's going to give me a Choice Cup. I was like, wait, wait a second. 
it's going to get my berry right, which is going to be very mean, right? Because the Flebus does not take it out, and it's going to eat my Citrus Berry and get some more health back. Essentially, I'm going to be trapped into Flare Blitz now, and I'm going to obviously take more damage when I attack the Malamar, but... Man, my items got stolen this whole battle. What's going on? So firing off that flare bits there, and uh, Kimochi is going to go down. No, I probably said that wrong. Did you know? I'm going to teach you people something right now. I'm gonna this, is, this is the things you learn watching my videos. Now, the animals are squid, right? A squid in Indonesian is chumi chumi. That's what it means. Chumi chumi. That's, that's a squid in, in Indonesian, right? Uh, the things you learn from me. So we got a, uh, we got an Omasa go for Dynamax here, right? I probably pronounced that wrong, by the way. Uh, we got a Dynamax Omasa here, and it's gonna be big, and it's gonna be pink. Now I can go for a Flare Blitz, and that's pretty much it since I'm locking. I don't really want to swap out at this stage, right? Now the great thing here was I got a burn from Flare Blitz. Like, wow, that's super good. If that was like a physical set. That's going to be even better, right? So now here comes a water-type move there, firing straight out of its little mouth, and Nitalis is going to go down. That's okay. Uh, the only bad thing is the sun is now gone, and it is now raining. So if it is a special set, uh, this is going to be bad, because if it's got Swiss Swim, it's going to be outspeeding everything. And it's going to be hitting very, very hard, you know, hard as well there. So Master's going to take a little bit of damage there from the burn from my Nitalis. Next Pokemon is the Gold Arc. So this Gold Arc set, actually, I forgot to tell you what the EVs for this was. This was a max health set, and we've also got max special attack there for Psybeam, right? So it's going to get a special defense rise. I'm going to be going for a Whirlpool here. So now, right, I've got Whirlpool, and I've got the burn damage going at the same time. So that's kind of handy. Then I'm thinking, okay, I could go for a Tractia. I might be able to get the Infatuation. Obviously, I'm not going to outspeed this turn. And then I might be able to take it out. We'll see, you know. So here comes the uh, Max Quake there. Doesn't take my Gold Arc out, which is very, very good. And now I can sort of uh, plan this, right? So go for your track on the Omasa, which is good. And next turn, it's going to be Infatuator, right? So I've got the Infatuation going. I've got the Burn going. And I've got the Whirlpool going all at the same time. And obviously, when it goes out of Dynamax, it's going to be taking, like, lots more damage in, which is going to be very, very good. And also, I can spam Psybeam as well. Hopefully, I can get a Confusion right. That'll be amazing. Like, if you think about it right, Burn, Whirlpool, Infatuation, and Confusion. That's wild, right? Uh, so, go for Psybeam there. I do not get the Confusion. Granted, it's only a 20% chance for it, but it would have been cool. So, one more turn. I should be able to take the Omaster out there. I felt like Whirlpool wouldn't is going to take it out anyway, so I might as well go for the uh, Confusion, right? It gets through, and it's going to go for a Scummy Water, and my Golda is going to go down. It was it was close. I wish I got one like one round of Infatuation there. I'd say I would have got the, uh, you know, the Omaster. So, I've got two more Pokemon left, and my opponent's got a... Uh, let's say they've got two left, too. The Omaster's pretty much going to get destroyed this turn. Uh, so now we're going to go into Porygon here. Now, Porygon could go for a Zen Head, but I'm going to get that down low, kick it, and give me a nice attack rise, right? Now the Amasa is going to go for a Meteor Beam, like, uh-oh, oh, oh dear. So it's got pretty good special attack, this Pokemon, and it got an Insta Plus 1 in special attack, too. I'm like, this is really, really going to hurt. And, of course, it's Stab as well, right? So uh, here comes the Meteor Beam coming from Amasa. It's going to hit me really, really hard there. But since I've got this nice bulky ever like Porygon, it just eats it like a snack, right? And it's going to take it out the Zen head, but I would have not liked to miss there. That would have been bad. So, bye-bye on my star. Next Pokemon. Oh, it's, a, it's another Uwu Pokemon. Now, this is Octillery, right? And it's going to take me out with Liquidation. So, I've only got one more Pokemon left there, and it's the Knockdown, right? And you know what that means, people. It's time for Psycho Shift. Now, right here, I'm thinking, okay, Octillery may outspeed me. It may not, depending on what EVs they're going to be running on a run. So, of course, I'm going to get out. I'm going to outspeed the Octillery. And now, Octillery can freely attack me, right, with Liquidation. That almost drops me on one shot. I lived on 17 health, and I'm going to heal myself all the way back. The problem here is, right, I'm going to need to roll a Sleep Talk and a Psycho Shift the next turn. Otherwise, I'm going to faint. If I fail to do so right now, that is game. Like, And I need to get my health back with Dream Meter too. So go for that Sleep Talk there on the Octillery, and I'm going to get rest. Man, this knocked out cannot catch a single break but what a crazy battle there especially like that first half of the battle like so many different things happened there 
And uh, yeah, we almost got down to 20 minutes as well. Thank you for the battle, Mammoth Swine. Let's get on to the third and final battle. Let's see if I can get this knocked out to work. Now, this was a curious battle. I had this one on the Wycom. So if this was someone who does watch my videos, um, leave a comment below. It was a really, really funny battle. So we got the first Pokemon as Toxpex. I know what you're thinking, like, oh, uh, here we go again. But it wasn't one of those battles. So going for the round here, I want to boost up my special attack, right? And it does a fair bit of damage to Toxpex. Like, man, that did a little bit more than uh, usual, right? I can go for Psyche next. And now Toxpex is going to go for a Toxic right there. I think they expected me to swap out my Lucario, right? Uh, that would make sense to me. So it's got the leftovers as the item there. Now they're going to swap out the Toxpex. Like, okay. And the next Pokemon I'm going to swap in is a Torture. I'm like, what is this team? So go for the Psychic there on Torchic. But then I had like an amazing Galaxy Brain feeling run. Right? Like, wait a second. If I can go for role play here, right, I can copy that Torchic and I can get the possible speed boost. So Steadfast gets replaced by speed boost. And then, right, the Torchic uses reversal. No, man, I got trolled twice. I got trolled against that Politoed, and then I got trolled by the Torture. I can't catch a break today, people. Like, my luck with this team was just a hot smoking pile of trash, right? Next Pokemon here is the Nine Tiles. I'm not playing any more games. I don't want to get swept by, uh, like, a reversal Torchic on your my channel. And I'm going to finish off the Torchic with the uh, Disrespect flame, uh, Flare Blitz there, right? So that's cool. Uh, we took out a Torching and Pokemon, right? I've got to pat myself on the back there, right? Next Pokemon is, of course, a Toxpex again. However, I can go for a uh, Zen Headbutt there. So I went for Zen Headbutt and miss. I think I accidentally may have cut that right there. Because how did Tox... Yeah, I accidentally, obviously, when I was editing the video, I've, I've cut out Nine Tiles accidentally using Zen Headbutt and a miss right there. So that's why that part wasn't there. So uh, Nine Tiles right is going to go for a Swagger this turn. I thought I might be able to use make use of the Power Swap Swagger set. And then it used Iron Defense. Like, ew, that's disgusting, right? So there's no way that I'm going to be able to take this Toxpex out with a plus two in defense. No wide way. Like, I could go for Zen Head, but to I'm blue in the face, right? So my option here, I've got to swap out Nine Tiles and I've got to bring in something that can actually do some damage, right? Now, the only Pokemon that really comes to mind here, of course, apart from Knocked Out, is my Blastbeam. Now, on the Switch there, we got the uh, Toxpex go for Baneful Bunker, right? And so, it's got Iron Defense, it's got Baneful Bunker, and Toxic. I'm like, this is just filth. So, go for the Psychic. I knew it wouldn't take it out, but it did some very, very good damage there. Almost take out one shot. Uh, now, we got the Toxpex going for a Toxic here. So, I'm thinking, right, they're probably going to go for Protector. Sorry, Baneful Bunker this turn. Does it matter if I take another round of Toxic? Nah, not really. They're going to have to either swap their uh, Toxic out into something else, which I don't think they will, judging on what they brought in Team Preview. And I think they'll just let their Toxic, uh, you know, faint, right? So, obviously, they're going to go for another round of their Baneful Bunker. They're getting another round of Toxic uh, building on my Blastion. That's fine. I almost went for Dynamax Blastion there on the Max... Uh, Max Mindstorm, but I thought, nah, that's a waste. I don't want to waste Dynamax uh, just yet, right? Like, I may need it. You never know, right? So, taking a little bit more Toxic damage there, and finally, Toxpex is going to go down to the Psychic, right? So, that was their Toxpex set. That was just, I don't know, it's just like a pure, like, scummy stalling set. Now, the next spike I'm going to come in here is going to have to face a pretty powerful attack, right? Because I got a Beast Boost. Uh, I'm going to take another round of the Toxic damage right there, too. And the next Pokemon is Rowler. So I was like, okay, Rowler, what can this do? And then, right, they Dynamax their Rowler. I was like, oh, my goodness. So instantly, I'm thinking right here, okay, their Rowler's probably got... Yeah, it probably has focus, that, right? And if I attack this thing, it's going to probably just take me out in the Dynamax. Maybe, like, maybe they're going to use Max Airstream or Max Darkness. I'm trying to think what move they're going to use. But uh, Dynamax Rowler, only on Pit Rush Channel, right? So Hypnosis, of course, is going to miss there. I went for a conservative play there in case they had Sash. And it missed, and they took me out with a Max Darkness. I could have gone for a rest there. Like, I could have gone for Hypnosis, and then I could go for rest, and then I could spare my Max Mindstorm. Hell, I could have even Dynamax, too. But it is what it is, people. So we got the Rowlet go for a max guard there, getting a round of uh, Toxic on my Nine Towers. So uh, that's annoying. I can go for Flare Blitz, and I can take this out. Now, since Rowlet is in Dynamax, I am going to take a fair bit of damage, uh, you know, from Recall here. And it turns out, after all that time, it did not have a Focus Ash. I'm like, man, this is interesting, right? So bye-bye, Rowlet. 
this thing was actually very interesting. It's like Toxapex and then Torchic and Rowler, right? But it gets better than that. There's some even more interesting Pokemon and sets right here. So uh, Nightiles is going to be eating its berry there, which is uh, very nice. And I'm going to take a little bit more damage from Toxic. That's cool. I estimate I've probably got about one or two more turns left. So in comes the Regig Drago uh, set here. Now, this is a interesting set. I couldn't really figure out what they were trying to do right here. Uh, so go for the Zen head, but there does some pretty good damage. And uh, now comes the Dragon Energy, right? Okay, that's fine. I mean, I did some damage already, so it's not going to be as powerful you know, as it normally would, right? Since it's based on uh, the more health you got, the more powerful. Like Eruption and Water Spout, right? Next Pokemon to come in here is my Porygon. I was like, okay, well, I can definitely go for Trick Room. You know what? I can get my full Porygon strategy going right now. Uh, then they went for Endure. I was like, okay, Endure. I wonder what they wanted to do right there. Were they, are they waiting for a weakness policy? Are they waiting for a, a berry? Like... I don't know what their strategy was here. So with Dragon Energy and Endure, right? Uh, so now I can go for a Zen here, bud. And we've got a Draco Meteor. So another Dragon type moves. Like, this is a curious set. Like, I wonder what they're trying to do right here. That hits me, like, really, really hard there. Uh, very, very hard. And, uh, you know, it's definitely going to be a 2 hit KO. Then they went for another Endure. I'm like, what is this set? I don't know what they're doing here. I went for a cover because I thought they'll go for another one, right? Since I was on a low amount of health. So... Porygon is uh, now pretty healthy right now, and I can use Last Resort, which is very good because I've used all my moves. So going for that uh, Last Resort there, and that is enough to take out the Reggie Drago, which is very, very good. Now, the next Pokemon here, right, is the Corviknight. So Corviknight really walled my Porygon, right? And I only had a little bit of uh, PP left, right? So I was like, okay, you know what I'm going to do? I'm just going to spam Last Resort, get as much damage as possible, then bring in another Pokemon, right? The only bad thing is when you look at my team, Nine Tails and Blasphion are already fainted, right? So I don't have any, like, you know, fight, like strong fire time moves. Now the Corviknight is going to go for the Iron Defense. They're like, okay, they're probably going to be running the Body Presser, right? That's that's not good, right? Because I'm going to get destroyed. Like, my team, when you look at my team besides Porygon, it isn't really bulky uh, whatsoever, right? And Porygon doesn't do lots of damage there. Anyway, so Corviknight's going to be uh, setting all those Iron Defense up. And I'm going to be spamming Last Resort as much as I can. I could go for Recover, but I know it's going to go for Body Press, right? And Body Press will dominate me in one shot. Do I want to swap any Pokemon out into a Body Press? Not really, you know what I mean? Uh, so go for uh, Last Resort here. I think I was almost down to my last one because this was a pressure set. Instead of a mirror item. And then they went for a steel wing. I'm like, wow, steel wing. That's interesting. So uh, this was a iron defense and steel wing set. So that's a pretty unconventional set so far. And then that drill pack. I'm like, maybe this doesn't have body press. Like, I thought it might have roost as well. Uh, so go for another last thought here. I've got Corv right below half elf, which is good, I guess. And it's going to finish my Porygon off with a drill pack. So bye bye, Porygon. However, I had two more Pokemon left here. Now we had the psychic water as my gold arc. I could not swap in my Noctowl to this set because what's it going to do, you know? Dream. I mean, it's got Dream Eater and Tinted Lens with a Twisted Spoon, but still, I don't really want to take a Body Press if it does have it, right? So, setting that Whirlpool up on Corviknight was going to be the go-to play there. And, you know, they may even add Roost as well. So, go for their track there. I'm going to infatuate the Corviknight and get uh, some nice damage with the Whirlpool off, right? And I might be able to even get some Confusion damage, right? Now, the Corviknight is going to be immobilized by Love there, and I'm going to get some more uh, damage from the Whirlpool. So, next turn, it's going to be going down right there. So, firing off my uh, side Beam here. Side Beam fails to take it out there, and I get a Confusion on my Man, I got a lot of Confusion with side beam in this team, which is good. Like, that's about the only luck that I got, right? And Corviknight is going to be uh, infatuated by love there, and it breaks through all of that and gets a drill peck off. Man, it was it was very, very lucky to get through all that scum, right? So bye-bye Corviknight. It's a good thing Whirlpool did some damage there. Now, the last Pokemon is Charmander. I was like, okay, you know what? It's... I, I gotta get a... I gotta get this win with Noctowl. I have to do it right. And just in case there's a troll Charmander set, I wasn't taking any chances right. So now we got Digon Charmander. I, you wouldn't read about it, people. And it's gonna be burrowing underground. So I'm like, okay, that's great. I can uh, go for rest right now. I, once again, with this set, I have to be asleep. So what other moves did Charmander have? You will find out. So the next move it's going to go for is Inferno, and of course it lands as well. And the funny thing is, it actually burns me, so I can make use of Psycho Shift uh, in any other stage here. But since I wanted to put the Charmander to sleep, 
I had to put my knocked out to sleep. So we got three minutes left on this battle right, and I really wanted to get Psycho Shift and Dream Eater to finish off this Charmander right. And then the Charmander went for Flame Thrust. So I was like, wait, wait a second. Dick Inferno Flamethrower, what is this set? It's crazy. So like they're limiting themselves to certain moves. I, I don't know if anyone's picking up on a theme team here. Like, let me know. So go for the uh, uh, sleep talk there, and I get a uh, dream in it, which really sucks, right? Uh, I was hoping I could get like just one psycho shift there. Uh, so go for sleep talk again there on the Charmander, and I get rest. I'm like, man, this really, really sucks. So once again, I've got to go to sleep with my knockdown run. So here comes another uh, another flamethrower from the Charmander there, and I've got to go back to sleep. We've got two minutes left this battle. Like, I have to get this Psycho Shifts thing to work right. I've got two minutes. I, I, like It's not doing a lot of damage to me, right? I'm in a very good spot to finish them off, right? And then it pops a Flare Blitz. I'm like, oh, no. That hits me really hard. That's a clean three-hit KO, right? Uh, Charmander does a bit of damage to itself. Then it, then it heals itself. I'm like, what? It's got Shell Bell. What is this set? Flame Blitz, Flamethrower, Inferno, and Dig with the Shell Bell. What the heck? So go for another uh, uh, the Sleep Talk there, and I get the Dream in. I'm like, man, can I just land one Psycho Shift? Just one. So we are down to the last 50 seconds of this battle here. Knockdown is going to be going for a Sleep Talk here, and I get rest again. Oh, my. And remember, I, 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 I have gone through so many rests and Sleep Talks here. That was my 20th rest and sleep talk ride. So, I've got one more chance here, people, to put the Charmander to sleep with my Noctowl. So, once again, the Noctowl is going to be going to sleep. There's probably turn for about one more move, one to two more moves here uh, before we get timed out by the lame 20-minute time ride. So, Noctowl is all the way back to full health. Our Charmander is going to go for a, a flamethrower there. Obviously, they're trying to keep the, themselves healthy, right, with the, uh, the Flare Blitz. has got nasty recoil, right? So we're down to the last 10 seconds of this battle. Last five seconds right now. I'm disappointed, Rise. Right? Like, please get this move. We go for the sleep tour, people. And I finally get Psycho Shift and put the Charmander to sleep. But since we're on zero seconds, I can't go for a Dream Eater because it's the end of the battle. And that, my friends, is the game. I'm so salty. I never got to get Dream Eater to work in any of these three battles. Peace out, people. <laughs>